Hey guys, how's it going? This is X Shade here with, as you can see in the background, finally got some Call of Duty gameplay again. Got my PlayStation back on Thursday. Then I stayed up all night on that night, and then yesterday. I was gonna do a video yesterday, but by the time I was editing it, I was too tired. Made a story video about someone, and I asked if I could upload it, and they didn't want it uploaded. I respect their opinion on that, but I got another story video that I can't really ask for their opinion on. Because kids in the psych ward, I think, still. So, yeah, we're gonna name his. We're gonna we're gonna name him a different name though. His name is uh. We're gonna name him Flapjack. Flapjack was a little kid that I met in JDC, and he was a little weird kid. Um, he 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 um. He was skinny as hell. A little bit skinnier than me actually, and we all could have swore when his parents came in to visit him. He took a hit off that met pipe, but we couldn't figure it out. Every day he'd wake up, and throughout the whole day, even into the nighttime, he'd say good morning. All day, every day, he'd talk about KFC. It was the weirdest shit. He, he was just weird. Cool kid, though, but weird. He, he was one of those kids that... You wouldn't want to be sitting in... You wouldn't want his, your cell to be next to his, is guess what I should say. And that was my problem. I, I had my cell right next to his. And with that comes hearing things you don't want to hear. Like, uh, this is where kind of where it starts, so... There was one day... I don't remember which day exactly, but it was one of my first early days there. Or midway through, probably. We were, we were going into our cells for reading or whatever, to read, and just chilling ourselves, and they let us take naps and shit in ourselves, and it was a 45 minute wait, we'd go in, and it was about halfway through, I don't know why he would have just not done it, like, immediately, but he was masturbating, and I could tell, because even though the walls are concrete, you can, you can still hear the faint little... It, showed, it was just fucking weird. And then I get up and I look out my window to my, for my cell. Because your cell had two windows. The window looking outside, which led to a brick wall for me. Or the window looking out in the hallway, which led to seeing five or six other cells. And the whole day room. I could see everything going on with the staff. And I could see most of the kids. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm sitting there and I look out the cell window. And I see the guy right across from me. Right across from me was actually just a bathroom door, but to my right a little bit, there was this other dude, and he w he had a perfect view of his room, of the kid that I'm talking about, Flapjack. He had a perfect view of his room, and he just looked disgusted, like, he looked like he was ready to fucking kill himself in that cell. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Conveniently... The staff member starts walking down the hallway, checking on us, because it's been about half an hour. That's how you would tell what, how, what the time was in your cell. Every half an hour, they'd come check on us in our cells. <laughs> and dude walks by a kid's room, and just fucking yells, What the hell are you doing? Dude fucking <laughs> was losing it. <laughs> it was the funniest shit. We all knew what he was doing as soon as, that ha as, soon as he was yelling that. I'm looking out the cell... I'm, l I'm looking out my cell window, and the, the dude across from me is just making that motion like, yeah, he's jacking off. I'm sitting there fucking losing it. I'm rolling on the floor. And that, the story doesn't end there, either. He That that staff member stayed all day and all night. Well, until new, um, 11 o'clock at night when he had, was able to go home. His sister count would work there, too. Sometimes they'd work together, and sometimes they'd work separately. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the next quiet time when we're on our room for another half hour. <laughs> He's going at it again. <laughs> I can hear it again. Like, he is destined to get that nut out. He didn't get it last time. He's getting it out this time type shit. It's been 15 minutes. They come walking down the hallway. Because when it's 30 minute quiet times, they come down every 15 minutes to make sure we're okay. Every, but when it's 45 minutes, ones they come down every half hour and then let us know when five minutes is. She comes down and she catches him again. She catches him. She's like, "Dude, what are you doing? We caught you earlier doing this, and you can't do that." And he just fucking flip. They're just flipping out on each other. 
So, that's three people in one day catching him masturbating. And he's still trying to masturbate. <laughs> and the best part about it is, I don't think he had any toilet paper in his room. <laughs> so, where was it all going? What would happen if a staff member come walking by midnight onto the floor or onto the toilet seat? What was going on? I don't know. I really don't care. Shit was stupid, but it was funny as fuck. When we got out of the room, too, when we got out of our cells into the day room, we went up to the kid and we were like, So, you finish? You finish this time? And he's like, No. These goddamn staff members keep walking in at the wrong times and it makes it hard to finish. We just give him sh We were giving him shit the whole time, too. And then I get out, and I, we, he gets out of JDC and goes to day treatment. I get out of JDC and go to day treatment, and I see him there, and I'm like, So, he's still masturbating in the bathroom, or, uh,. You going home and doing that. He's like, <laughs> home is better, man. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was one of those situations where it's like, you gotta give the kid shit because he got caught three times. Two by staff members and one by another kid across from him. But at the same fucking time. You'd think after getting caught once in that day, you just wait until midnight when no one's gonna walk down the cell except for every half hour to make sure you're sleeping. No! No, 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 no. Let me do it when the staff member check on us frequently. Let me go ahead and just be midnight as someone's walking down and looking at my room. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm fine, just masturbating. Oh, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Type shit. It was fucking stupid but funny. I don't know where he's at now. Because last time I saw him, he was banging his head against a wall. Until it bled. So he's probably in psych ward right now, but... Flapjack will forever be remembered. If you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, check out my other videos, or subscribe if you like this one. I got plenty more J um, stories of me and Juvie. Some not as good as the others, some really fucking disturbing, some really good. Um, I got more videos coming up soon. I got a couple more stories that I've got to tell from my past. Like my first time getting arrested ever. My first time doing things. And my first time with this. My first time with that. A whole bunch of different shit. If, but, um, and sometime soon I'll start doing streams again. I'm just waiting for my internet to start adjusting better in my room. But, like, my PlayStation, like, it, it takes forever. I'll, I'll play one game, then I'll have to reconnect my internet. And it, it, it should be getting fine soon. I got a couple of new games like Far Cry, I got updates for Rainbow and shit, I, I, I've got all the games that I need, I've got all the time that I need now, now it's just getting the internet right, but yeah, uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy, again, my name is XJD, hopefully, see you guys in the next one.